look what just showed up folks it's not just any 17 inch lcd monitor it's a touch screen let's throw her on the tormach mill and see how she runs I did have to drill four new holes in the bracket here, uh, just slightly under a three inch pattern. I think I did 2.95 and I drilled them out with a number two, which does give you some extra room, um, just so that you don't have to worry about what the exact measurement is. I'm gonna reuse the same existing VGA cable, which I assume is no different. What is different is the, um, you, the the touchscreen monitor has a USB cable, which I'm assuming is what interfaces with the software, and then it, um, communication with the pilot or the computer. And then it has a power brick wall wart, which you got to plug in as well. So those three things, and we should be good. All right, now we have to calibrate this. This is a very difficult and tedious process. You need to type in admin touchscreen hit enter, and then you need to use uh, your index finger, and it has to be your right hand index finger. Do not use your middle finger. If you use your middle finger, Tormach will void your warranty. Boom, 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 boom. Folks, we have a touch screen. How awesome is that? We've got the door open, or, oh, gotta change my RPM. So that's actually a great point. So RPMs to 50 forward, machines on, I clear that status error, boom, conversational. I could do this all day long, stop. How awesome is it? Slide your, slide your menus back and forth. That's helpful. What, where I'm really gonna like it is here. Jump in between the steps and the jog. The jog ones are actually, that's a little bit of a tight range you get used to where your finger hits my index finger if it's low or high but these big buttons here look at that folks that is a win so i threw it on the lathe because we actually have a lathe job today and that's what i want to use it on i bought a second one for the mill this is awesome here's the thing folks it's 220 dollars i think their standard monitor is uh 180 and sure you can buy your own monitor if you want to for cheaper but for the touch screen $220 is like a no-brainer when it comes to how we use this in the shop. And this is what I love about it and what Tormach is doing with PathPilot and the sort of the direction of the company is they're offering this sort of fully baked solution where they'll support this monitor. It'll work. That configuration thing I think was part of PathPilot calibration, which is awesome. I actually had a little hiccup with mine. I emailed Tormach. They were all over it right away. That's cool. I like that they own it. And here's the thing. and It's, it's a subtle point to... Um, hobbyist, but it's not a subtle point to machine shops, which is having the whole package be an integrated machine and not have it be this hodgepodge of, well, here's the machine, here's the controller, here's the hardware, it's all over the place. And I actually would like to see Tormont push more to a fully integrated um, appliance instead of even having like this this PC computer, which I think PathPilot was a start there, and I don't know if I'll ever get them there or not, but just like you see at a vertical machine center where you've actually got a proper cabinet with a built-in keyboard and the built-in jog wheel and, and, and physical button, the touchscreen is great, don't get me wrong, but I would love some of these things to either have or support physical buttons. I think we'll get there, but for now, folks, this is a huge time saver, and there's a coolness factor. So for anyone who uses the machine a lot, I think this is gonna be great. I will let you guys know honestly how it holds up. I'm curious with dirty fingers, with oil, just general shop wear and tear. I have no idea how fragile these things are, uh, but I'll keep you posted. But in the meantime, folks, super awesome add-on to PathPilot. Really excited about that. Take care, see you soon.